Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited to be sharing a makeup tutorial with you. So I'm creating this kind of blush inspired look. I was hoping to have this up for Valentine's Day, but I have been wearing this look so much lately. I really love it. I think it's very pretty, not too pink, just the perfect amount. I'm using my Naked 3 palette. I'm also talking about some of my favorite products a new lipstick that I'm obsessed with, my favorite Tom Ford cream eyeshadow, and just a few other really nice things. I saw a look very similar to this on Khloe Kardashian. I fell in love with it. I decided to try to create a similar version that suited me and I could use the products that I already own to kind of recreate the look. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you find some new products that you seem interested in or something new that you haven't seen. And I hope that you like the video. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you're new. That would mean so much to me. And let's go ahead and get into the look. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes really quick just before I apply anything on my face. I have been doing things just a little bit differently. Um, if you hear any noise, as always, that's diesel. <laughs> So I've been doing things a little bit differently and I have still been using my beauty blender. I need to get a new primer so that's why I don't have one but I did my morning skincare routine already so I will leave that link down below. But I have been using my fingers lately to apply because I've been mixing so I've talked about both of these, they're really dirty right now so sorry about that but the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and the IT Cosmetics CC Plus. So I've really just been mixing the two of these because I've been wanting like a more, I guess, luminous look than what I usually would go for. I don't know why, maybe. My skin has been a little bit clearer, but you can still see my neck is like really bad. Um, so I put about this much on my finger and of the Clinique, and then I do one pump of the CC cream, and I just mix them together and apply them with my fingertips. So just kind of rub it in and this gives me like more coverage than what just the CC cream would give me but that CC cream already gives like a really good coverage so I just do this it looks a lot more youthful than just a flat foundation and I don't know it just gives my skin like a really healthy glowy look but it takes a few minutes to blend it with your fingers and I'm still not used to blending with my fingers so I'm trying to get used to it and then I just go back in in areas where I need more coverage with just the foundation, which I'll show you in a second, in the Beauty Blender. So you can see that this gives you just a really luminous kind of finish, um, but I do have some spots that I do want to conceal a little bit more. And so I'll just go back in with my Clinique foundation, which also works really great as a concealer as well. I need to leave my neck alone. And I'll just kind of spot conceal any bigger areas that I want, like a little bit more coverage. And use my beauty blender to just blend them in. Okay, so I'll let that sit for a few minutes while I do my eyes and then I'll come back in with concealer. But I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow really quick. I'm going to start by using my eyeshadow primer. I went ahead and just did my left eye um, before so that way we can just do this one and it'll be quicker for you. I use the NARS eyeshadow uh, smudge proof eyeshadow base and I just put a little bit and smudge it all over my lid. You don't always have to use an eyeshadow base. I just really like using one. I'm using this Tom Ford cream shadow and this is the color 08 and I really, this is so beautiful. All of the Tom Ford cream eyeshadows are totally worth it. They're a little bit pricey but they are by far the best cream shadow on the market and probably the prettiest eyeshadow on the market also. They just have like a really beautiful color and pigmentation and they're just, I don't know, it's like shimmery but it's so smooth. So I just apply this all over my lid and just kind of work it into my crease a little bit and that just provides like a color base to kind of help guide me and it's also very beautiful. And then what I like to do is just use like a crease brush and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I've talked about this quite a bit. And I've just been really loving it for like the whole past year. So I'm going to be using, uh, let's see, the shade Buzz, which is a very pink color and it's very shimmery. So 
So this whole eyeshadow look was inspired by um, something I saw on Khloe Kardashian and this one's not identical but it was just my take on it and I loved how I always put a lot of dark color in the crease and I loved how she just had like just a little bit and it was very blush and um, just bright and very pretty. So I just take that pink color and apply it in my outer crease or my outer V, whatever you want to call it, and my crease. And I think it's really pretty. It adds like a little bit of a deep color, but it's still very bright and um, just very beautiful. So another very classic color is this shade from MAC, and this is All That Glitters. And I love how this color, it like really brings a different shade. So it's not very, very pink, but it's more like a rose gold and it helps to like neutralize the pink and just packs on a little bit more shimmer. If you're not a shimmery person, then this eyeshadow look is definitely not for you. Probably none of my looks are because I love shimmer. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness to my outer V, just a little bit, and I'm going to use the shade Factory and I'm just going to dip a tiny, tiny bit into it. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> and just add a little darkness to this crease. And that way, it just adds a little bit more dimension to the eye without adding too much darkness. So recently, I've really been loving this pigment from MAC. And this is in English Gilt. This too is a very beautiful golden shade with a hint of a rosy color to it. And I'm just going to apply this on the inner corner of my eye and kind of bring it out to my lid. And I just love the way this really brightens up the inner corner of my eye and really opens my eyes quite a bit more. It's very pretty. For my highlight, I just like to use rice paper from MAC and a big fluffy brush just to really clean up everything. I don't, I'm not very precise with my eyeshadow brushes, so this shade is for my skin tone, just a perfect cleanup color. And then I also like to add a little bit of the pigment, the vanilla pigment from MAC. This is a really great um, color to have in your collection because you can just pop a little bit under your brow to highlight that. And then also in your inner corner, it really helps to brighten everything up. So today, instead of using eyeliner, I am so faithful to my winged liner and all things like that. I'm going to use the shade Blackheart, which is the very darkest, deepest, purpley shade in the Naked 3 palette, and just a little pencil brush. And I'm going to just apply this right to my lash line. So instead of having like a big eyeliner look, it just kind of simulates thicker, fuller lashes. Please go. How are you doing? And so I like to focus this mostly on the outer edge of my eye and not bring too much into the inner corner just because that kind of like closes my eye a little bit. I like to keep that focused on the outer edge. So that is it for the eyes. I'm going to do my concealer and then I will come in and fix my under eye area and my mascara once I'm done with the rest of my face. So I always use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I really love this. I can go back in on the areas that were very problematic. Most of the time I don't have to use as much of this um, if I use my Clinique foundation. So, and then I just apply a little bit under my eyes. Probably not a little bit, I probably put quite a bit. <laughs> I have dark circles. Um, and then I like to do beside my nose and sometimes down my nose just because this highlights my nose and this kind of highlights some of those creases that are not my favorite. <laughs> and then I just blend out with my beauty blender. I always cross my eyes in really funny ways when I'm doing my makeup, so just ignore that. This is also a good opportunity to clean up any eyeshadow that might have fallen out from where you wanted it. You can just take your concealer up past your eyes.
So lately when I've been doing a more, I guess not every single day look, if we're going out or out to dinner or something, I have been trying to do like a little bit of the baking technique. I'm still not a professional yet. So I do use the Clinique Secret Eye Brightener, which I just use that every day anyway, but if I want, sometimes I'll apply like just a little bit of a heavier bit. This step is totally optional and I think you can just do whatever you feel comfortable with. I just like to do, apply a little bit under my eye. I don't really go as heavy as some people do, just like a little bit. And then I'll let it sit for a few minutes and then wipe it off. While that sits, I'm gonna go ahead. I usually use my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which I still really love and I still use on a daily basis. But for like a night out or something that I want a little bit more of a glow, I have been using the Guerlain Meteorites and I have just been using these in place of my translucent powder. So if I'm doing this every day, like I'll just use this as my highlighter. But for something like this, I will go ahead and apply it all over my face. It's such a subtle glow that I think you can get away with applying it all over your face, at least this shade. And it just, to me, it like sets my makeup and it also just makes my skin really glisten. Which for me, I like to get my glow from a powder because <laughs> it helps to set my makeup a little bit more. But I think it really helps to just keep everything like very glowy, which I love, but not not dewy or sticky. <laughs> so that is a really great trip, trick and it's also just a really great product that you can use several different ways. So now I'll probably just go ahead and wipe that powder off from underneath my eye and it just makes everything a little bit brighter. For bronzer, I'm still using my Bare Minerals Warmth. I really love this. I also love using this tapered brush from MAC. It helps me to get a better contour. So I just kind of swirl and tap and focus it on my cheeks. I do the 3E. E. So around my hairline to help slim my face down. I contour my cheeks and then my jawline. I'm not gonna pay too much attention to that today because it is so broken out. So I really kind of focus the most of my bronzer and the attention on my cheeks. I have very full cheeks. <laughs> so I like to slim them down a little bit and you can do it beside your nose if you want. I would recommend using a smaller brush. I usually just wind up with like a super bronzed nose. And then I like to take the brush that I used for my under eye powder and just kind of clean up the line below my contour because that helps really kind of like chisel it out and make everything look a lot thinner. So you can move everything from this line up and just kind of blend it out. So for this look, to keep everything really bright and highlighted, I have been using my Chanel highlighter. This is like several years old, so I don't even know if they have this color anymore. Um, I will try to find it online if I can. It's just a really bright highlight. You can see that it's very, it's very, it's very much a pearl highlight. So when I see this, I feel like the color that you get is very pearlescent, if that's a word. <laughs> and I just really, I focus it here. In the picture that I saw from Chloe, she had a lot of highlight, obviously, and contour. She's a Kardashian, so um, I just really focus a lot of highlight on the high points of my face and any areas that get a lot of shadow. For blush, I really don't want to apply too much. I really love this color from NARS. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I will leave it linked below with everything else. And so instead of like really focusing on the apples of my cheek and like competing with my eye, I just apply a little bit on like my actual cheekbone and take it up just a tad. I don't want a ton of color and I always apply my highlighter and then my blush. That really gives you the appearance that your flush and blush is coming out from your skin. So I love that. That's just like a trick that I use. I also forgot I applied this NYX um, Wonder Pencil. This is a great thing to have on the inner rims of my lower lashes just to help brighten up my eyes a little bit. 
So that's all for my face. I'm just going to go back in and you can leave the under eye blank if you want. Lately I've been trying to bring my shadow down a little bit to like really, if I'm like taking the time on my makeup to make it look more complete. So what I'm basically going to do is get, use some of the colors that I used on my lid to just create like a pretty um, color under my eye. So I'm going to use the buzz shade that we applied in our crease and I'm just going to run that along my entire lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the darker shade, the black heart, and just focus it really right on the lash line. And I'm just going to do the outer corner. That way it just kind of connects everything. And then you can take a little bit of the vanilla shade or the English gilt and just pop it right on your inner corner to help brighten everything up. And I think that makes everything look really nice. So you don't have to do that. It's totally optional. But for me, um, for, you know, like a more glam look, I want to like fully complete it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyelashes and my eyebrows. So for my brows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And for my lashes, I am wearing the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. I really love these two. And it's so, not difficult, but it's just kind of, I feel like I never get a good shot of me doing my mascara and my eyebrows, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply those and then I'll come back and we'll talk about lips and that will be it for the look. Okay, so now we're going to do the lips. I recently got a new lip color that I love so much and I've talked about it in my last video, so I just wanted to share that in action. So I'm going to be using the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. This one's one of my favorites. It's just, um, just kind of like a nude brown, which is very in right now, I feel like. I feel like heavy lip liner is very in right now. Okay. And my lipstick is from Tom Ford and this is the shade All Mine. It looks so sad and frumpy so I'm going to apply it with a lip brush. I immediately broke this like the day I got it. And it made me very sad, but I'm still wearing it every single day. This is such a pretty nude color. It's like a pink nude. I feel like everything I wear is a pink nude, or I say everything is a pink nude. I don't know. <laughs> I think it pairs really pretty with this liner and with this eye color. So I love this lip color with this eye look because I feel like it's just enough pink in the nude for them to pair well together, but it's not too much pink to where they compete. So I think that the color in the combination just looks really, really nice together. And that is it for the completed look. So I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. And I would love to know if you would like to see more makeup tutorials. I feel like I very much get in a rut of using the same products and trying the same thing every day. But if you do like watching my makeup tutorials, I started a long time ago with makeup. I started my channel because I love makeup so much. Um, just let me know and I would love to continue making makeup tutorials for you and I can try new things. So if you have like certain celebrities or anyone that you love and you're like, I love this look, like could you try to recreate it or something? I will definitely do that. I had so much fun kind of recreating this look that I saw on Khloe Kardashian. Like I said, it's not the same look. However, it is very similar. Um, and I just kind of drew my inspiration from her and her makeup for this look. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.